So Kofayin Aleph. Okay, Kofayin Aleph. Okay, so now we're doing the Shulchan Aruch, Simen Kufayin Aleph. The Aloch is a respect for food. Yesterday we learned the Gemara, yeah. and now we're learning the Shulchan Aruch about respecting food. Shaloi Linek Bezayim Baruchlan. Sif Aleph. A person could use bread for whatever he needs. He doesn't make it more. If he makes it more, he's not allowed to. So uh, we passed him like Shmuel, basically. There was an opinion that was very strict. That one of them said, you're never allowed to be even a vase of food. You're not allowed to even be mevaza food. And then there was a Rebbe Lezer that said, you're even allowed to use wine to wash your hands. You can even have hefsa doichla. And then the most of Shonim hold that a Shmuel was an in-between shita. You're not allowed to be mevaza food. But, I'm sorry, you're allowed to be mevaza food. But, you can't make it most. You can't be mafsidit. If you make it repugnant, so then you're ruining it. You can't ruin it. But you can embarrass it. Mavaza food, that's why we covered the, the challah when we make kiddush. That to be mavaza the food. Okay. The, the, the so if we, could, we try to avoid if we okay, could. Yeah. You don't put raw meat on top of it. Right, the b'raise of him, I don't love Kaismala, you can't take a wine put it on top of it, we're scared that the cup of wine will spill on the bread and the bread again will probably become most repugnant, he won't want to eat the bread, it'll become a nifsid. You can't lean the plate on it. That's if the plate has stuff inside, to the extent that the plate will fall in the... And we're scared that the soup will now make the bread repugnant and then it will go in the garbage. But if the plate is empty, or he has some apples in there, it's not going to ruin the... Then it's not a problem. Again, because we pass it like Shmuel. We pass it like Shmuel. So, the Bryce attack says, ain't some how I caught a period. But we say no, it depends if it'll become most or not most. Vein no itlan adayin v'yayin. You don't allow to use v'yayin to wash your hands, because it's hefzed eichlan, it's mius of eichlan. And we don't pass it like Rebbe Lezid. Bein chai, bein mozik, I don't care if it's raw, even if it's raw, you'd say, oh, it's not considered wine, it's only shah, it's only bari pri ho'etz, according to the world, I don't care. Ba'afilu netila she'en etzorech achila, not only for netila siyadai, but you say, oh, netila siyadai, you need water. But even if it was stamazoi, to wash your hands for ma'am achroinim, for staff, for washing, for cleanliness, for nekiyus, not allowed to use wine. Why? Because you're ruining the wine, you're making it repugnant, most, and you're hefsed, you're making it ruined. Vein, zirkin, apas, and you're not allowed to throw the bread. Mishum, bizoyin oichlan, because you're mavaz oichlan. Hey, wait a minute. We just said that aloch is like Shmuel. Yeah. And Shmuel says, yeah. bizoyin? I don't care. Yeah. You're not allowed to make hefsed. Right? Yeah. We said there's three opinions. Chum said you're never allowed to embarrass food. Right. The Chum said nothing. Never allowed is everything. You can make bizon, you can make hefsed, you can wash your hands. So it's not meas. Everything, according to Rebbe Lezer. Shmuel is the middle. Even meas. Everything. Yeah. Shmuel is in the middle. He says yeah. it could be mavaza, but you can't make meas. Yeah. You can embarrass it, but you can't make it repugnant, because uh -huh. then it'll be thrown out. Uh -huh. So why do we... And So Toysus Taka says... If you remember, give me the Gemara if you don't mind. The Toysva says that this Braisa uh, uh, is not fully low according to Shmuel. The Braisa says four things. The Toysva says that not everything will go according to Shmuel. Because Toysva says... Um, Toysva says... <clears throat> three of the things will go. Um... In K Mutter Lisma Hakoda Bapas, Echidala Mos If you're not gonna make it most, why can't you uh, lean the plate? Why not? Who cares?
So Shmuel is in the middle, he said. Is the Chachamim on one end and Rebbe Lazar on the other end? And Shmuel in the middle. Right, Shmuel is in the middle. But, pass, you're not allowed to throw. Why? Why you're not allowed to throw pass? Because pass still has a more cheshivas. Remember yesterday we learned in the Gemara, one b'risa says that all foods are just like bread. The other b'risa says that no, pass is different than other breads. And the Gemara says, depends. This is, it depends if it's most or not most. So I told you, we see from the Rishonim, there's two ways of learning it. One is that food, bread and all the foods are exactly the same. The bottom line is it becomes most or not most. Others hold no. That's the difference between bread. Bread, you never allowed to throw. Because you're not even allowed to be mavaza bread. The, just, and other things is totally most and not most. I we passing like Shmuel. And Shmuel says that you're allowed, oh, you say, oh, them called you're allowed to do all your tzorach in the past. Yes, yeah, so. so the answer is... That still you're allowed to do all tzarach in the past, but throwing it is a very big design. Yeah. Still, there's a little more respect that we give to so pass. It's not because the other day I think I'm, maybe I'm not getting it right, but I think we were saying that maybe because it's easier to become moss. That's what I said. That's so that was the other shot. One sheet, the one sheet that says the bottom line is: does it become moss or not moss? Yes. Yeah, so a bread easily becomes moss. So you shouldn't throw it from that time. Yeah. It but the Shulchan Aruch, like right, exactly. It's, it's, uh, but, like Rashi says, that's exactly what Rashi says. Yeah, okay. Luskaz, why is the problem yeah, of throwing yeah, bread for right, Chos Nagala? Because it becomes moles. Right, because the Gemara says, but you might say Shem, you might say so you see that it's an Indian of Mias. So right. Otherwise, why would it make such a difference? Right, and that's what so, Rashi holds. So, that, so that's, so, but we are passing and you're saying, la la. And like Toys Fist and like somebody shining. That what? That, you know, that if it were Mamish, we're splitting hairs here. Yeah. Saying, Allah is like Shmuel. Yeah, but, but, but pass is chashev, you're not allowed to throw it. So, in general, Separate. we say there's a difference between Bizoyan and Hefset. You're allowed to do Bizoyan, you're not allowed to do Hefset. Yeah. But in Bizoyan itself, we say bread is a little more chashiv, right? And you can't really do too much design to it. Yeah, throw. So throwing it is really too much of a design. Yes, the I'm not sure. Again, I'm just talking to the Alma, but I think I once heard that this, maybe the Indian of Baltashkas is only on bread. I, I mean, again, I don't know where this is in know. my head from. That's a good question. Mm -hmm. why, uh, would be, why would it be only bread? I don't know. I don't know. I mean, like, I, like that, 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 that's the Gemara, so I'm going to have that that's how they That's a sign. good question. No, it doesn't make sense. I mean, every every good food, you're throwing it away, it's a it's hashkasi. No, but we uh, see here that some of the hold that the, that the Peshat and the Gemara is, is that bread really does have uh, malyusa. And uh, according to the way the Shulchan Aruch learns, even though we pass in the, like Shmuel, and all foods you're allowed to... Bizoin is mutter. Half said is also. Yeah. But within Bizoin itself, all foods you're allowed to do Bizoin. Bread. Is a bread thing. So if you're going to have a plate that's a little crooked and you're going to use a piece of bread to straighten it out, yeah. and it's there's no no soup in there that's going to pour over yeah, and yeah. there's a shad that will again become moz. It's yeah. Yeah. But to throw it is yeah, also. Awesome. Awesome, yeah. yeah, nice. So. Back to what we were saying yesterday, we were saying that people were saying at Shabbos table that the brought in Shechnorach that you shouldn't take the bread and put it in someone's hand. Why? Hashem Avelas. And even if the guy Chasusham is a novel, we learned because of Tzina, Shabbos, right. to the right. you don't put it in his hand. Right, exactly. Put it down. Put it down. You Someone's once brought out that the Kuda when you were teaching, I think, look, because. Yeah. I think it was Yulikabe. I you had a terrace from that to some pleas. Maybe some that's why the Swad are not throwing it. Maybe because there's so many people on the other side of the table. So someone said yesterday, yeah. so that's why some people throw the bread. They don't want to hand I it. I don't like that. Okay. So, that's, no. uh, so you can't lie. How could you like that? Better you give it over, put it on a plate, holds. let everybody take it. Shukhanar holds yeah. that the hashivas of bread is so much, yeah. and even though Shmuel says that. You're allowed to make tzorochov b'fas, a bezoyin. 
Bizzi Bizzionis. Yeah, it could be. It could be some Meshug and the guy made it up, and then people think that's the Torah, which is right. a lot of things. Right. But on the other hand, Medaf Nochvarsim, because sometimes they have different Minhagos. Sometimes it's good, and right? Halachas. I'm saying, by Svadim and the Siyah, they have to look. A roof. Right. Right. Is this his minig? Or, or if, like Tzemach Tzedek says, a minig is Isis Gehenim. It could be a minig. Really? Yeah, yeah. It could be a Gehenim. Wow, <laughs> that's a good word. So it could be it could be a minig. It could be good. Or it could be not good. It could be a minig toes. Right? Yeah. You have to really look into it. Okay. So let's continue the last two lines of the Shulchan Aruch here. Vein zerkin apas, which is bezayin aruch. Can't throw the bread. Shame, shein zerkin as apas, kachin zerkin oilchim. Just like bread, also other foods. But by other foods, you're not allowed to throw. If in the case of their nemosim with dezike, aval mide the lomamis. If you'll throw it and they don't become repugnant, kegoyim, for example, kegoyim and nuts. Yeah. If you throw, that's you throw, the uh, the the throw out. Yeah, yeah the Pesach they play. Right, yeah, but he's moin him. The chavushim, pomegranate. Well, I, I think a chavush is a quince. I'm not sure. So that actually, I think, is is a soft, I mean, soft like a peach, yeah. but it's yeah, but it's still hard. It's hard. It's never. I don't know. I'm not sure yeah. that's your stroll today. Did you ever eat that fruit? I forgot what it's called. Something like with a samach kuf. Soak, soak. It, 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 it looks like a peach. But when you open it up, it has a lot of pit. Not one pit. It has a few. And it's not good taste, but it tastes up just like a little bit like an orange. I don't know. What do they call it? Shesek. Shin Samachko, Shesek. I don't know what it is, but I was ready to make that. It's not a nice snap. There's something in the. In the I, I'm going. ready to make the Shachiyan of you. You find it for me. Well, yeah, <laughs> but I'm saying over there, it's, got, it's like it tastes. It's, it's, it's like consistency of a peach or something, but it tastes a little bit uh, tart. It's, it's very good. So I'm not sure, but I, I think they'd say that that's a quince, but a Kavish is a quince. I don't know. I don't know. Did you ever eat that? I don't know. In Hungary, they had it. I don't know. I don't know. They have it here too, maybe. I don't know. But here, chavish. So, so how do they touch this chavish? I'm not even sure. So I don't even know what it is. But according to this, it must be a little bit hard. Like the second president in the USA, Quincy Adams. I don't know what that name comes from. Quincy. I don't know which came first, you know what I mean? Maybe they make this thing. Who knows? You never know. You have to investigate. The mechanics begin guess with these, uh, with these things. Like, I, I would say to someone, the name for a girl, from her, right? I had a grandmother, from a uh, great-grandmother, from, 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 from Sasha. So, was that a name of a girl, and then... He said on the Yerushalayim, on Yerushalayim, from they named it after that girl, or it's a name they gave to a girl from her, like it's a it's a virtual, like a Dina Bracha, so from her. I don't even know. I mean, I hear what you you, you probably think I'm crazy. That no, no, no. I have an aunt. Came, that it was a girl. I have an aunt they call Yenta. What? I have a aunt Yenta, sure. but her name is Yehudis. Oh, but they call it Yenta. Why? I don't know. Yenta, Yenta, Yenta. I know people like it. Could be the, the same thing. Could be there was a lady. Her name was Yenta, and she was a big Yenta, so they call it <laughs> right. Yeah, but I'm saying with the word from her. Could be the same thing. It could be that. She was a Fruma Yedina. And her name was Fruma. And, uh, and uh, everyone in town a... said, anyone that was, you know, the fruma. very uh, very devout, they said she, they, they liked the like that. It's hard to imagine it should it be like be. that. You would think maybe that it's a. But you don't know, I know. And that's just wrong. It's like it's not nice. A stereotype, a beard word. They want to say, like a Swedish girl from the poor neighbors, you know, and then uh, and the tight clothes. And this, they say frecha. The Ashkenazim say, actually, it's a frecha. What's frecha from Perach? 
like Bloomba, Bloom in Yiddish. It's just a name. It's not, it doesn't, it means a flower. But I guess it's a common name in Arabic by them, Frecha. So, so, you know what I'm trying to say? So that became, it means such a type. That's like a big, I don't know if you heard it. That's, that's like a, oh. that's a, a, a derogatory, a derogatory term. Derogatory is a noun. But, you know, for, for such a type, never, you know, whatever. So they so they say it. Uh, Came at the right time. Okay. Yeah. Talking about using <laughs> foods for medicine. Oh. oh, wow. Okay. Hey, that's interesting. Very good. Okay, that's Sifalo. So we did Sifalo. Okay. So again, Sifalo said. We pass him like Shmuel, and we pass him like the Toysvus. And Shmuel is a middle shitter. This is for you. Medicine for um, the Toysvus. Uh, I think it's oh, the other cheating. way around. You got any cheating? No. I'm not cheating. I made a broken. Gosh, if I didn't. You look so to the joke. What? Maybe, uh, uh, Rabbi was passing by, walking in the street, he saw a Tzeik restaurant, and one of his congregants was sitting in there eating. To go into the restaurant, he can't go in. He said, Rabbi, so he waited outside. When he came out, he says, Randall, what's this do? He said, what do you mean? It's under rabbinical supervision. You're watching the whole time. <laughs> Okay, so if Aleph in the Mishnah Beruda. Why are we learning the Mishnah Beruda, not the Alter Rebbe? That way, but that's what this is the Alter Rebbe. Okay, so it's Macham again. Because this Simon Kufayin Aleph is missing in the Alter Rebbe Okay. So wait, Aleph must be somewhere. Look at the Mishnah Beruda. Uh, Mashiach will come, we'll find it. it. Oh, that's for sure. So we said earlier if he wants to use medicine, he wants to use the food to make medicine out of it. Shoddy, I feel the but even if the food becomes repugnant, you're allowed to. Over there he says that those days. If a person had a pain in the eye, they'd put wine in the eye. Test is the medicine. Put wine in the eye. Yeah, put enough wine. The, the, the okay. drunk guy. Yeah. <laughs> Get the eye drunk. So, so, uh, so Shabbos, you're not allowed to put it directly in the eye, because then it looks like you're taking medicine in Shabbos. You're allowed to put it on top of the eye, and it should leak into the eye. Because that looks like the chitza. He's washing himself. So, hey, wait a minute. How do you allow to wash yourself with wine? It's a charaya that you're allowed to. Aha, uh-huh, I feel a bit lot of what. In the Dovish of Tzarek Odom. Derech ha'olam lasses. V'derech ha'olam lasses ba'echel Tzarek Zeh. Right. That's the big chiddush of the Mishnah Brura. He argues with other poskim. Other poskim have different formulas of how they understand it. Because here, here the Gemara says you're allowed to bathe in wine. But then the Gemara said against the Belaz, it said... You're allowed to wash your hands with wine, yeah. and we pass him, you're not allowed to, because you're making the wine repugnant, right? right. So, why, how can you take a shower with wine? Yeah. So, he, the Mishnah Buddha's answer is depends. If it's Derech Oilam, Derech Oilam is no one uses wine to wash your hands, Negovatsa, to use wine, but you're a Michigan. Yeah. But uh, the, the Velt Halt that wine, let's say everyone thinks that wine is a great shampoo. You know, wine, a little bit of salt, a little bit of yeah, thing, you mix it together. Lomazogin, yeah? yeah. Okay. My sisters, I remember I in the 1960s, what? used to wash with an egg to hear. Yeah. Okay. Not, they didn't invent it, this was in a minute, and they used to leave the comb, that they comb the hair in a cup of beer. Why? I don't know. Maybe it thickened it or it stopped it from having a split ends or fly away, you know. Uh, right. I distinctly remember no, but when I was a little kid. They used to have not the girls who want to do my macaroni. Uh, the comb and the beer. And I just, it just now come back to me because you're talking about being Mavaz Eichlin. So the Mishnah Bura holds. saying that even if it's not for a fear, but 
If it's derech oilam, derech oilam, yeah, tzarech oilam and derech oilam. You see, yeah, imu darosh should tzarech oilam and derech oilam. Last of all, tzarech is a gam kishem. But times a mazal from the karka biyayim, the zochin a guf biyayim, b'shem kavurim kavurim kamed duchte. We see in a lot of places in Gemara. In those days, they used to smear their body with oil. I, Rabbi Lazar says you can't. We're holding in simen kufay and aleph, sif cotton dal in the middle. So, because that's the idea of the Mishnah Berurah. If it's Soyrech Odom and Derech Oilom, it's Mutter. Okay, that's what's stopping us. They use wine for Mayim Akroyim, and a little bit of wine that you have left over in the cup. Is that allowed? Um, that, that's... Uh, not the, you don't wash my Mayim Akroyim. You have a little bit left, you know, there's nothing It's else. totally in this Plukta. And we pass, no, we're not allowed to. It's told in this book. Some say that the Machlok is Terbalazer, uh, the Machlok is Terbalazer, and Chachamim was, if it has, Rashi says, it, the Shaila is if it has, if it's considered water or not water. If it's considered okay, well, maybe. Well, all the Rishonim say, no, we're not talking about the Toysis brings over there. No, you're not allowed to wash your hands for the Tilas Yadayim needs to be water, just like a mikvah needs to be water. The whole Shailan, the Gemara, and the Machloikis was if you're allowed to use wine because you're going to make it Nifsa, the Mo'us. Yeah, yeah. And we pass on the Chumrah. You're not allowed to. No, you're not allowed you to. Shouldn't use wine. So the Mishnah says you're not allowed to. Only allowed to use food. You can use egg to put into your hair. You can use beer to put in for your comb. You could use wine to wash your eyes. You could use coconut oil to smear your face. Wait, what about children to smear your face? I don't know. Uh, I had a cousin, and he had warts. Uh, she was a wife of my great uncle, and she was also an aunt to Zama Moshe Drizen. She was the daughter of Rabbi Avram Ayor Drizen. He's this uh, Zalman Moshe's aunt. His aunt was also my aunt. No? So, uh, so she said, come to my house after Shabbos. And uh, she put on all his words, she put on chomt. And she bandaged it, Azoi. And then, and then she, a few hours later, she took it off. And the words came off. Wow. Uh, what? She, yeah. I'm not the show you. I'm not the Shabbos. You made the show the Gobit Shabbos. So that's. I'm not the example. What said about taking a word and showing it by uh, Tish Lavana? Uh, so you know, Chaim Mitch had risen. Yeah. I know, I know yeah, most yeah. of them came from Yisrael, from Chabad yeah. of Berkeley. It's like Shmuel Fagel. He sneezes, he coughs, or whatnot. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's interesting. I just no, thought of another thing. What, what is the thing that they used in Eichel? You could say I, I remember hearing a. Uh, 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 no, no. no the, the, um, if a person is a bumper sticker, a bumper sticker on the car, and he wants to get it off, if he, if he can rasp and hide this, he can't get it off, somebody needs to have this. Very modern molecular uh, 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 bonding, these blues, yeah. that you forget about. It. So, a guy on the radio says years ago, he gave an answer, you could you smear it on with peanut butter. Why? <laughs> because it has oil. But if you'll put regular oil from the kitchen, it'll fall a needle like it has to stay on for a certain time and then it comes off. So, right. I mean, it's also an example. You're taking an amaychol. But he's the, he the is, Mishnah Berurashit is that it has yeah. to be two things. Soyra ha'odam, but also derech oilam to and, use it. And derech ha'olam, yeah. He says, why no, and that not the derech ha'olam yeah. to wash their hands with wine. But it, Another thing is, this is a joke, but from it you could see also a halacha. When I was a kid, they used to make two jokes. They used to say that they asked for a Moshe, that could use Kedem wine, the Diyavad, for my Machrayim Vasa, and he said, I feel like The joke is that it was more water than wine. But that's the halacha that you could, you have to be nightful with water, right? That's a halachic point, right? And the other joke was, if you, are you allowed to, to take the Jewish press in the bathroom, and the Ramosh said it's a shy if you have to take it out of the bathroom. <laughs> this is like jokes from, you know. Child. Jokes that they say Ramosh made. The it's is a Jewish joke. Pre- it's it doesn't a problem. Mean he said it. The Jewish press in the bathroom is a problem. There's a lot of Torah in it. Yeah, yeah but that's the problem. That's the, sh- that's the, 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 the 
Chiddush Shem Sag is that the Shiloh, if you can take it out, maybe it belongs there. <laughs> Right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. But I'm saying about the wine. And I met Taka this uh, class. Robert Class. He's not alive anymore. Son. That's a nephew. No, he's a nephew. I saw him today. Yeah. So he. he, um, Wow. You should. should It's a good shit. You saw him yesterday. You saw him today. But you don't know. Yeah. So he said. He started to say something about that. Shmuel, he heard Reb Shmuel Berenbaum used to learn Tanya. Okay. And then he said to say some other things that he knew about this and that, all kinds of things that uh, we have myths of. Okay, very good. To be, uh, very good. Shakish. No, but it's interesting. We learned the Gemara that says that, that with the wine that was not diluted. You just take a look at it. They used to wash. Remember yeah, yesterday, the Gemara? Yeah. The Ma- said, I don't care. Yeah, diluted, not diluted. I don't want you to use it. Right, right. but I mean, the, the Zahava mean it because if you didn't dilute it, it's not called wine. Because you can't... Now she says, right. You didn't, it's, yeah. not, it's not wine. It's, it's yeah. made yeah. paid. So made so paid is a lot of use. It's not called Eichel because you can't drink it. So you're allowed to use it. Here was the opposite idea. It's a massive wine, so... So because we're passing like Chacham, yeah. and the Chacham yeah. said the Benkech yeah. Benkech is not allowed to because yeah. it's Bezayin, yeah. and the uh, worst of Bezayin. Right, that's what the Grad. Rabban Olam, Benkech Benkech. Looking to cut and test in the Mishnah Berurah. Vein Zorikim a pass. Mavur be Beis Yosef Asher Pois Kum the Pesach. Chashiv v'tfeim Shalaychu. The pass is much more Chashiv. But the day also, the film loyni must say the zirik going to zork al gami mokum noki. The zilz lula pass. Because the zilz straight out. Right. To understand. That's yeah. not a throw bread. So, bottom line, we pass in like the middle shit and the gemara like Shmuel. Yeah. That um, it's a middle shit. You're allowed to use food. You're allowed to even be mavaz of food. You're not allowed to make half set of food. But bread gets a special chashivus. And the Braise says you're not allowed to throw bread, and Shmuel agrees to that. You're not allowed to throw bread, even if it's not going to become old. <laughs> because bread, that even though it's uh, you're not you're not gonna it's not gonna get ruined. It's you're throwing it from one side of the table to the other side of the table. I don't care. You're not allowed to do that. So it's if true, you're not allowed to throw challah the other side, I'm saying that the them do it. But this not is allowed to throw challah. The... Not allowed to throw bread. Bread you're not allowed to throw. Can't even toss it. Well, no, you can put it toss. down, yeah, but not... So what do you do when you... No. Toss it to the side of the table, so you it, put it, hold on, let it go around. Can I go like this? You pass it I to do me. that. I, that's what Yosef is asking, I'm not sure. I, give, I don't think it's that bad. So that's supposed to get it in the hand. You're not supposed to give it in the hand. Oh, you put it in the bread basket and then I pass it around. That's why people end up throwing it, because you're not allowed to give it in the hand. It's a bad simon. Of course, it says in it says in the Eiv, I'm sorry, in Eicha, it says, Peresetzien Biyoda Ein Menachem Lo. So we learn from this that uh, it, uh, it's a simon of Avelus that, uh, that it goes into the hand. And this is brought... The Menachem, the Avon, the Yom, the Menachem, the Avon, 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 Give it to somebody else. Yeah, yeah, you're not supposed to give it in someone's hand. And I'm almost sure it's in the end of Simon. It's in one of the Simonim here. It's brought in the end of... It's, um, it's somewhere in Simon Kufayan, actually, in the previous Simon. And uh, the the Beisheshe says he didn't find the marker for it. And then later, Akhrena found that's Befeidish. It's a Yal Kuchimayn. In the, in the, in the, they should put the bagels, the bag of bagels on the stand, I'm not hand it to you. Nah, because they're only in a bag. It's a different thing. Yeah, because the oil food, you're supposed to give him the piece of bread in his hand. It's a bag. It's basically Shabbos. Shabbos, when you give out right. the challah. Even your young English English ask you for challah, they come all right up to you. So you have to put it down for them. I put it down, yeah, no. I, I always <laughs> end up with their mother or something like that. Food on you, all the superstitions. No, it's not, but it's not. It's, it's, uh, you know, it's, 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 it
Right, there are people that are mocking not to walk around in socks in the house. Also not. Right, right, right. right. Mocking not to walk around in socks. Where does that come from? I don't know. So, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. My mother always used to be very yeah. upset. My mother too. My mother oh, oh, yeah. Huh? So my mother freaks. My mother's from No, no. Yeah. 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 The guys are in the Zocken. 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 With a valence. Don't slip. A valence. Walk around in sacks. Oh, maybe it's not from that. That's why. That's where it's from. Yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. That's why your parents are very upset to see the child yeah. who's walking around in sacks. Right. So, uh... Siv base. Lo yeshev adam. So, one more time. Summer esif alif. That um, you don't be... You, you, you're not allowed to make food mo'us. You're not allowed to make food a hefsid. Even if it's a chad, you're gonna put the cup over it, or it might spill, or meat over it, it might get ruined. You're not allowed to do that. Hef said of Eichlin, you're allowed to do, but bread, you're not allowed to be mavaza. But, says the Mishnah Bruda, you're allowed anything which is the derech oilum to use, and you're using it for a good reason, tzorech oilum, and derech oilum, you're allowed to. And that's the why you're allowed to use all kinds of food products. But people that throw sometimes they put nice. they, they cut up bread and they throw it for the birds. Are they allowed to do that? So that's a separate child, it's a similar ten That's the cover of the bread, so you're not the vase of the bread. No, because there's those that say that you're not allowed to give to an animal food that is especially that bread. Because it's a ro la khilas odom, it's not kosher. Most, most of the time people send to give oh, stale bread. Right, so that's not a problem. It's not supposed to throw bread out either. Right, you don't throw it. You're not talking about in the tablecloths. You see people here, they wrap up the house and they throw it. Well, if it's less than kazayas, whatever. But if it's more kazayas, then I'll laugh. The catering clothes, you see, they take the pan together. The way is no ready. They take all the perurim, all the crumbs, and put it into the soup. You see, Rebbe's today at the tish. All the perurim that came from the They don't the want family. to throw it away. Everything they come with a big Plus knife. Plus it's the thing with Parnosa. Parnosa, I think it's... You, so you go to the Rebbe's dish? Is it? it? <laughs> I don't know the dish, but... I've Nothing seen, wrong with going. You see it all the time you walk into the China store today. You see that they have a DVD of the latest dish. It's called the... Uh, oh, yeah. The rabbis they eat with the spoon. They take the crumbs, put it in a spoon, yeah. and they eat that. Oh, I, so. I, know, I saw once the Bell's dish on one of these DVDs, and it takes a, a special knife, that collects the crumbs, and he puts it in the smarak. But it says also somewhere, somewhere in Mishra that the perurim are, if, if you yeah, say, right, it's a makuf page. Right, it's it's right. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. yeah, it's yeah, yeah. yeah. So I have to come, come, you should, a whole piece of bread you shouldn't throw it. Right. I, my, we were told by a rov to let it get stale. Right, that's a good idea. Until it starts yeah, getting throw it out. Then it happens. Right, right, that's a good idea. But uh, yeah, it's a yeah, terrible thing for they, put it, they have places in May Shum. I don't know if you have a store. They have a place where everybody goes and they put all their extra bread and they let but it But that's, that's less than a kazais. More than a kazais, it's flat out also. Even less than a kazais, yeah, which is mutter, but if you mevaz it, you step in it, it's kosher lanius. Or throwing it into the garbage lachayr is also a piece of no. Lachayr. But you have to be. Uh, Today there's a once, Shem Shabbos, even the Goyim come and take bread. Mamashi, you see tons. Oh, yeah. Right, you see it? There are these ladies that are going through the bread all the time. Go ahead and put it on the sukkah. Have a sukkah. What's the story with the bread? Bakeries bring old bread. They bring all the food. They bring all the everything. But the bread is not close off shop. It's horrible. I can't eat there. Yeah, I go somewhere to the down there. You can't eat the food in the place. We used to have. But the bread is a day old, so by the going, that's nothing. Yeah. So going it comes from in. Poland, they have bread from for weeks. So now a loaf, a loaf of bread that was baked yesterday for them is like a mamash of And they and Moshe Metzger lets them take, doesn't it stay Jew, non Jew? So you see more Polish ladies are taking bread than that than Yiddish. No, here, stores, restaurants, pizza shops, when they have left over before they close, they bring it to Shermish Shabbos. The center of the show. So they have food there all the time. 
But they're not supposed to let inflation, it, but they do. Where, where, where? What should do? It's Rabbi Shabbos. In the basement? Yeah. They used to take from Rabashkin. Rabashkin also used to send it. Yeah. Yeah, but they they used to put some separate. This is flashing from certain places. They do take. I bring all my leftovers there every week. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> and that goes because yeah. leftovers are enough. People food. eat. There's never people that don't have yeah. food. Yeah. If you put it out nicely yeah. and clean stuff, it goes right away. People know what smells and what's good. Yeah, come eat it. The people are yeah, yeah. The the Mishalochim they come. Yeah, yeah. Every it's a big stripe. Every type of person. So you go downstairs in the basement. They have a little kitchen over there. Yeah, yeah. It's a magnificent. It's a mini factory. Over there, you always cop a mini. Same base. Lo yishemad emal kupam le teinim ugeroigero his a box. Full of dates, dry dates. Al Yoshev figs, sorry, dried figs. Al Yoshev al Eagle Shaldvela, oh, al Kupa Malaya Kitneas, if it's a box full of beans. There's no problem with sitting on it, hey. Yeah, it's dry dates. Oh, right. Probably. Shame Koshim and Mismachim because they don't, uh, they don't get mushy. They're not going to get mushy. Mutalachal uh-huh. Daisa. Peter Shachita Niklat that some of the is kasha, right? The pass, the mokim kaf. Use bread to scoop up the kasha. But you must eat the bread afterwards. Because otherwise you made the bread moles. No one's going to eat the bread after you use that bread as a spoon. So you have to eat the bread. Those that are mahader, they're medactic on themselves. Every time they take they use the bread as a spoon, they bite a piece of the bread. And then, and also the leftover of the bread, they also eat. Why? Because, again, this goes into the machloikis of, of the balatoisus and, and all the rishanim, if we pass them like Shmuel or not. So really, we pass them like Shmuel. We pass them, hefsedo, uh, to be, make a pseidah to Eichlin is also... But to be mevaza oichlem is mutter. So if you're gonna use the bread as a as a spoon or as a plate, so and you're gonna eat it later, so there's no hefsit, but there's a bizayin, so it's mutter. But those that shouldn't want it to be choshed, especially it's bread, so maybe even shmo will be maskim. So therefore, they used to bite off a piece of the bread every time they ate, and at the end they would finish the end of the bread. I mentioned yesterday that no, there's a big issue true. today that they have chasnas or some chas. And they make bread. Ah, uh, yeah. So bread and they put soup in it. And they put soup in it. All then the they all go in, yeah. And then they go they go in the garbage. So that's also. If the if a person is planning to eat it, and then it's mutter. And right. even then, soup. They put soup. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, soup. they they put soup into some bread. That they that's probably because it gives it time. Always, what would they use but then they, for a while, they, they eat up the soup. Yeah, they put soup in bread rather than a bowl. That's yeah, yeah, that's so that. Kind of the the, yeah, yeah, they have. It makes it soft and. I, 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 I don't. don't people I don't can't eat touch it. it. I can't touch it. it makes just the whole concept. If if you're gonna eat it, that's what he's saying here. If you're gonna eat it afterwards, it's fine. It's fine. And even that, if you want to be mahadir, every time you should eat a little bit of the bread also. But it's it's the, I think it's a mitzvah that. Like I once had, I had a shear in the uh, boiler, and um, can't take the, the the bone out. But look here, every bone that you take out of the piece of soup has some of the the lichluch from the from the from the, from the, from the uh, soup. So you're not being boiler, you you're taking good with it. Even if you don't, you take out a, a bone, it's impossible for it not to be wet. So why is that boiler? So whatever, I don't, didn't answer me, but over here, there's a metzias that some of the bread is decomposing. It's got to be. So there's no such thing that you're not going to take a spider. But the rest of the bread is going to go to the garbage. Oh, but the vial of the bread. Okay, but then it's, not, it's no longer uh, edible. In other words, it's, you've used the whole, that's the reason why you use the bread. A lot of times a person eats bread and he doesn't finish it because he doesn't like the crust or whatever it is. is that a, why should that be any difference? Because, well, because bread, it ends up being that the rest of the bread you could put aside. Well, it's not that hard. I mean, this, you can't put it aside. 
once uh, once you put the soup in there and a person eats soup out of that bowl, if he's not going to eat that bread, that bread is going in the garbage. And most like people if there's don't a simcha, eat the bread. If there's a simcha and you don't eat your challah, so then they're going to collect the challah and put it in a box and give it to the bala simcha. It's not going to go in the garbage. But if you're you're, gonna, you're not allowed to use uh, bread from a table today. Against the law. But they do yeah. some. They maybe let the it owner, do. maybe the owner of the of yeah, the they're not allowed to. Or anything that's on the no, table. No, anything that goes out of the kitchen. It's a law. They're not allowed yeah, to. Yeah, it's not, a even law. if they don't touch the plate. It's a law. That's right. It goes out of the kitchen. Yeah. To the, the, there's this chevra that come to the wedding houses that give out like this guy uh, Spielman he takes, but here it's in the in the bakeries. Whatever he takes from Isaac's every day, it's in there. But if he would go to a house, he'd be doing it illegally. Because it's come, yeah, it's come out already. Also, uh, the, the, the stuff plate. that they stave in the kitchen, they're allowed. They the stuff in the kitchen, they're allowed to get. Right. The stuff that came out. There's that the big um, secular chair. Also, when they come off the plane, all the plane, food, the, food. Artists, the New York, whatever you know. Right, they do that too. Exactly. They yeah. salvage it and bring it to Nia, right? Correct, or, correct. They have trucks and everything. So that's what it's from the kitchen, probably. Yeah. But, but but when it comes out, once it's out, you're not allowed to do it. Uh-huh. You're not For the table, table, because a person could can. sneeze on it or touch it. Exactly. That's exactly. what a reason. It's not smart. right. Yeah. You no, know, the Lord. That even if things that come off of a plane, I worked for for uh, for a lot for a few weeks. Even closed soda, a closed has to go to the garbage. Okay. Yeah, so, yeah. But the workers used to. <laughs> what? Why? As the the, the the Department of Health, I have no idea. They have in every airport, they have an incinerator. It and goes right into the dog. They don't want it. There's bugs or there's other things. When they have, you ever see when you collect your luggage and the dogs are walking around? So whatever they find contraband, or somebody brought in papers or whatever, goes to a place and then they burn it. I just got busted. Yeah? Uh-huh. Yeah. Um, we had pine cones. <laughs> My son brought home pine cones. Well, a few years ago, smell you know the nice things that come off the pine trees? They're, they're like, like in a big it? roll. It's, yeah. no, it's like a piece of wood, nice ornament that grows on the trees, the pine cones. And what do you do with it? I know. You, you put it on your yeah, head to the good smell. smell. No, that's yeah. what they're going to do with it, but they're beautiful. Some of them are big. Oh, and they have a good smell, like a little they're, bit of a smell. Yeah, yeah. it's a pine. It's, it's like a piece of wood. A dog smell it's it? It's a wood, but it's got like yeah, spirals. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's beautiful. Where did he take it from? Um, my aunt, My wife's aunt's... Oh, yeah, they have these beautiful pine trees, and on the yeah, bottom, you can't put it in the, in the no, luggage. which country to which country? Paris is to America, so. Ah. But you can't, you can't put it in the luggage because it'll smash it. No, no. Well, they're very strong. Yeah. And they, whatever, but yeah, so the dog came around and he smelled the pine cone. Yeah. So he said, what's wrong with the pine cone? He says, it's, it, it, it has a dinner of a, of, a, of a nut. Yeah, mm-hmm. agricultural products. You're not allowed to but bring in any agricultural yeah, products. Yeah, they take it away. Right. Corners and agricultural. It's a piece of wood. No, they take it away. That's it. That's it. it. Yeah, they, 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 they you go open up the suitcase right then and there. What's the yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, like, like we were smuggling in marijuana. They treat you like like. Next, like, what you have to do? Wow. Take some coffee and double wrap it, and then double wrap it in thing. Okay. Okay. You gotta talk to Benjamin. Like smear it with a suppository. And so good. I'm surprised that they, you know, they developed something that smells so terrible, and they spritz it on, uh, on, on the Arabs. Protest. Yeah, yeah, that's a good. But thing. they, they haven't been doing it. I don't know why. They call it skunk. Skunk. Well, the Israelis call it that. Yeah. Oh, should spritz them up good. A video about they it. They should spritz them up with liquefied chazer. <laughs> it was a video of a guy dropping chazer on one of the They said it was chazer, it was a pure tarva, which I doubt it was real chazer. Oh, well, well, it was good, no? So what, what happened? That's not Nothing. good, he's not going to go to, to they the should paradise. Spray, they should spray <laughs> chazer on these people. They have, to, they should have the women kill these terrorists, then they don't go to paradise. Oh, uh, yeah? When we get, a guy gets killed by a woman, he doesn't go to paradise. It's a machine. That. They should bury. They should have a thing, but they bury them in the skin of a chazer. Exactly. The British had that. Did they? Yeah. There was a time in the British. Beautiful. Yeah. They, and they stopped. They, they, were, they, were, they had a drastic uh, cut. And what's it called? Because they knew the Arabs, if they're going to be caught, they'll be killed, and they'll be buried in an unknown place in the skin of a chazer. Amazing. Well, that's what they should do. Yeah. Yeah. Or they should make them. They should make them drink it. Come Ask an Arab why he doesn't eat Chazer. He doesn't know why. Because it's a dirty animal. That's what they, they don't. They learned it from us. 
Of course. But everything is from us. Camels and doobies. Five times a day, we dive five times a day. Down, down, down. <laughs> Muhammad saw what they said. Muhammad came on Yom Kippur. The Yom Kippur. He saw that we did that. He saw the Yid. He saw everything that we were doing. We prayed towards Yerushalayim. Oh, everything. Mecca, Mecca. They prayed he wasn't against the Mecca. Jews at the beginning. He liked the Jews. He was trying to be Makar of the Jews. He said a Jew was the one who wrote the Quran. Really? really? That's what a guy was telling me. A Swami guy was telling me that. They couldn't do it. Let's finish the sim. Sim. Sim Dalit. I'm shaking your hands and I'm going to call They're allowed to spritz wine with these uh, pipes in front of Chosan Kala. Because it's a it's a sim of Brocha and it's a simcha of Ushka Blend of a Klippe Fiat Sinner. But he has to be Makabal the wine on the other side if he spritzes it. It shouldn't go to waste. Well, what does that mean? Kabal the Taka? So they had like a thing that they would spritz the wine from here and it would go like there. Oh. And they would, I don't know, have the pump or something. And the wine would get spritzed. But so they would save and it? They would catch it. Yeah, they catch it on the other and side. They would or something. So and they would drink it. But if you throw it out, not allowed to. Bezerkim with name Chloe's Vegoiz and Mesach Hamish and Nuts, and we let it throw in the Chosen Kala Nuts. Avalu Loi be Mesach Shamim. And the Shinim also falls into the puddle and it becomes Moes. Uh-huh. Bread you're never allowed to throw. Machloka is sort of showing him why you're not allowed to throw bread. It actually says not allowed to throw bread because bread is going to become most. Others, others say no, nothing to do with becoming most. Bread you have to have extra respect. And bread you're never allowed to throw. So the machloka is why. But the anyway. Those are rolls, right? Like rolls. Yeah, yeah, like rolls. Not Uskos, donuts, right? It's not donuts. Kind of rolls. Of G- Rolls out of white bread. Like nice rolls. In those days, a lot of the bread was whole wheat, so this was cause was white rolls. Kaponim, so that's the halacha. Now, interesting, somebody showed him say that you don't have to be makabal. You're allowed to spritz the wine even if the wine gets ruined. But we don't pass in that way. The basis is against them. My nafkamina, like I said yesterday, New Year's Eve, that they have. That they take or when they be, uh, when, a, when a, they Whatever. they take champagne or if they win a bowl game. They take champagne, a bottle, and they give it a, they mix it hard, and they open up the top and they give a spritz. Yeah, no, it comes out of my yeah. They get a spritz, and then, but that that's a half sedoichlan. So according to the Raivet, it's muta. But according to other Rishonim, it's also shechnor pasuk, and it's also even for chos and kal, it's also kol shkem for a stupid bowl game, or for inauguration of a ship, or for a New Year's Eve party. They can throw the chitim in a place where it's clean and then wipe it away. The Chazashon people shouldn't step on it. We don't have this problem because all the candies are wrapped up in wrappers. But takas, uh, if you throw jelly beans, v'chulu, you have to be careful that uh, not to throw it, maybe. And if you throw it, take it to clean up, that people shouldn't step on the jelly beans. It's not so common. As long as the candies that they throw, the pekalach, the candies, they should go to waste. Better than they should go to waste.